irresistible force. Hey, whenever Nia Jax enters an arena, whenever Nia Jax enters a match, everyone takes notice of the dominance that this woman is capable of. She's beautiful, she's powerful, she's dangerous. It's like a million dollar smile on a wrecking ball. Nia Jax is the irresistible force to be reckoned with. Byron, I really like the way Cedric Alexander has looked of late. You're not the only one, Michael. Cedric Alexander is the real deal. Each of these competitors looks to gain momentum with a win tonight. Whoever gets the early advantage could take this thing to a win. Ooh, what impact. The first ever Women's Royal Rumble match was full of amazing moments, but Nia Jax may have had the best performance of the 29 women who didn't win that match. I agree, Michael. While Asuka was obviously the true winner of the match, Nia Jax had plenty to be proud of, lasting 18 minutes and single-handedly eliminating four competitors. Let's go back to Nia Jax's Royal Rumble performance. When it comes to unassisted eliminations, she had the most in the Royal Rumble, tied with Michelle McCool. But here's the thing. McCool was a surprise entrant. Four women knew to prepare for Nia and still fell the irresistible force. Nia Jax set another record that night as six women needed to team together to eliminate the irresistible force. And it was six of the all-time greats, Asuka, Bailey. Natalia, Trish Stratus, and the Bella Twins. Cedric Alexander is one of the most highly touted cruiserweights in recent history, but his road to the cruiserweight championship took a lot of twists and turns. Yeah, Michael, a lot of us expected to see Cedric contend for the title as soon as he joined 205 Live, but the drama with Alicia Fox and a knee injury kept him out of the title picture. She's not looking good here, guys. Man, she's got to get herself together here. Tossed around like a rag doll. You guys mentioned Cedric Alexander's path to the Cruiserweight Championship. He was actually number one contender before the tournament started, but had to compete in the Cruiserweight Championship tournament just like everybody else. A lesser man would have complained or put less than his best effort in, but it made Cedric fight harder than ever. Shoulders on the mat. Referee barely had time to begin a count there. She's still in this one. What a strike. She's starting to stammer here. She needs to find a way to get back on the offensive here. It looks to me, guys, like she may have underestimated her opponent here tonight, and now she's paying for it. Cedric Alexander really seems to thrive when it comes to tournaments. In 2016, he had a classic match against Kota Ibushi in the Cruiserweight Classic. Two years later, a tournament got him in a championship match at WrestleMania. I think she's trying to prove a point here.
I don't have you walking funny. Look at her go. Byron mentioned Cedric winning his way to WrestleMania in 20. Nia Beautiful technique. I knew it was only oh. Nia Jackson. A leg drop. Thunderous leg drop. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. Looking for all the glory here. Only a two count. Not yet. I see where she's going with this. Great power. Oh, man. That looks like it hurts. I bet you feel foolish riding her off now. Oh, she goes for the cover. Nia Jax comes up big with that victory. Let's take another look at these ladies going toe to toe. Man, this was great. She left it all in the ring and I expected nothing less. That was a big pinfall victory right there. That's the kind of win that makes you feel good about yourself. Guys, it sounds like we can all agree that was an extremely impressive win.